the protocol that is being implemented for now, right now, is uh, from May 11 onwards until uh, June 10, is basically allowing inbound flights with a cap of 400 passengers a day. 400, are we talking about Filipinos or residents? Or are we talking about tourists and foreigners? Um, all Filipinos, um, uh, Senator Recto, good, good morning, Paul. Uh, yes, they are all Filipinos whenever deviated from the previous uh, restriction. Lahat ho ay yan ay repatriating nationals pa uwi po sa ating paliparan. Yes, General Manager, I, I, I'm not against allowing Filipinos to come back home. No? In fact, I think we should be able to prioritize that. Um, so, just, just just to make sure, no? we are saying that we are allowing only 400 Filipinos to come home every day. That's the limit Apa. that we can do. So, we're not Apa. talking about opening our airports, our tourism industry for foreigners to come in. No, sir. So only overseas Filipino workers and uh, returning residents. Tama po yun, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right now, as it is, lahat hong pumapasok na pasayero sa paliparan ng Lahia ay dumadaan po sa testing. Ngayon po, uh, initially, it was a rapid test, but ngayon po, yung NTF at yung one-stop shop na pinapatupad po natin dito ay lahat po ay ginagamitan na ng PCR test. Pagkatapos po mag check yung mga pasayero, mandatory po yan ay dadalhin sa quarantine facility. Pag nag-negative po sila uh, after the PCR test, they will be allowed to go home to their own, to their residency, uh, residence at uh, mga probinsya. So yun po ang pinapatupad natin ngayon dito na hindi po pinapayagan umalis at uh, immediately, kundi po meron po tayong pinapatupad na screening uh, sa ating paliparan on arrival of all these passengers. All 400 passengers will be subject to a swab test and they have to be held in a quarantine facility pending the result of the swab test. Am I correct? That is correct, ma'am. That is correct. So all 400. Now, will we be able to accomplish? Saan sila ilalagay? Meron pong uh, quarantine facility na ginagamit sa ngayon ang uh, National Task Force uh, na mga pasilidad. Uh, yan po ay pinamumunuan ng one-stop shop na composed ng uh, Philippine Coast Guard, OTS, DOT, OWA, uh, at kasama rin po ang uh, Manila International Airports pagbibigay ng facility sa ating paliparan. So basically, that is in place po ngayon. Nako, parang hindi yata pa. I mean, it, it doesn't look like this is something that we can sustain over even just a couple of weeks. Saan mo ilalagyan every day 400 people? So, harap ang nagpuno ng isang hotel na big size, araw-araw, doon sa mga tao na yun. And, and, a, and, a, and a, a swab test will take at least two to three days. If at all, eh, the general population, we only test how many thousands. So, meaning, we will have to test the 400 incoming ones as a priority as opposed to testing our citizens because we only have so much capability when it comes to processing those tests. Parang hindi, hindi masyado pinag-isipan ito bago natin sinayagan ng flight. Bago ho tayo mag-lockdown, uh, mag-temporary suspension, um, we are averaging already 2,000 OFW and OF coming home. The reason why pinag-utos po na temporary suspend or uh, i-restrict yung arrival from May three to today or yesterday ay because para ho makahinga ng konti yung mga quarantine facilities natin na mabigyan ng daan kasi yung iba ho hindi pa nakakauwi dahil na may mga issues ho sa pagpapatunta kahit tapos na po yung quarantine. So ngayon po, ang ginawa po ay apat na raan lang po kada araw, hindi po bawat flight. Kada araw po, binabaan pa po from 2,000 daily average. Ngayon po nasa 400 na lang po tayo para ho mabigyan ng atensyon at tamang pag-check uh, yung mga pasaherong parating dito sa ating uh, paliparan sa Manila.